Hey guys, it's Julie from Table for Two, and today's video is completely different than what I am used to filming. Uh, the only reason why I'm filming this is because I feel like I would be doing you a disservice if I did not share this tip. Um, basically, we are, or I am, showing you, well, Aaron will be too later, um, showing you how to hang curtain rods without blowing your brains out. Uh, when we moved into this house, like I knew I wanted curtains in majority of the rooms and we have hung um, several curtain rods, but that was with so much frustration and we just really were at each other's necks because we didn't know this trick before and I just have to share it because it makes hanging curtain rods so much easier and they're level and it literally, if you take these steps, the prep steps, it takes like five minutes to do and they're perfect and they're straight and it just makes the process so much easier and I just really have to share with you guys. So I'm going to show you all the prep steps and then the entire process. Um, obviously, first things first, you <laughs> have to buy your curtain rods. So these are just um, one, ooh, one inch. <laughs> <laughs> in diameter um, curtain rods in matte black and I actually just bought really basic ones at Home Depot and the trick is actually um, if you buy the really basic ones with just like no pretty designs on the ends they're a lot cheaper um, and you can switch them out because they sell these I don't even know if I'm saying these correctly but finials find it I'll put the spelling at the bottom, but anyways, so you can just buy these in a set of two and then swap them out, and it's so much cheaper. I think this pack of two was like $8.95, and this rod, um, the size was 36 inch to 72 inch, um, was $13.95, as opposed to paying $39.95 for the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit cheaper to save money that way and you just screw them on and it's so simple. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did and then it came with all the hardware and everything. So yeah, first you gotta measure your windows and see the diameter that you need. Um, sorry, not the diameter, the length that you need for your curtain rods and then well, let's get to the prep steps. So first thing is you want to find the ideal place for your brackets, but you also want to make sure that that ideal place for your brackets is um, the right height for your curtains because you don't want them to be too high hanging off the ground so they look like float pants, um, but you also don't want them too low that it pulls too much. So once you figure that out, um, you want to measure the ceiling down. So how many inches from the ceiling is the mount that uh, you want there? So for example, this. From the ceiling, where the mounting bracket will be, where the screw goes in is 10 inches. So you wanna remember that. And then you want to measure how many inches from the window frame you want it to be. And this is like, well, I'm gonna do six inches um, for the windows. Okay, so you remember those measurements because that's how you draw the template on a piece of cardboard, just scrap cardboard. And it's nice because it has an even edge um, to go up against the ceiling. Anyway, so you remember those measurements. It was 10 inches down from the ceiling. So you measure 10 inches from the top of the cardboard because that will be your ceiling. Um, mark it and then go six inches in because that is how far out you want the curtain rod to stick from the window frame, mark it, and then you draw your lines. And where they intersect is where your uh, mounting bracket or your screw is gonna go. So all you will have to do is take this template, flush it against the ceiling, and 
where they intersect is where you will drill. Um, now this template looks a little weird because I already I have holes above the intersection and I will show you why I did that. Um, it's a little tricky with mounting brackets that are like this, but you can easily figure it out. Um, so let me show you what my mounting brackets look like. All right, so these are the mounting brackets for the curtain rods. And I didn't realize this before, which I don't know why, but you know, practice makes perfect. Screwing, going, to put these brackets on the way they are is extremely difficult. <laughs> because if you imagine, you have to try and get your screwdriver or your drill under this little dip right here that holds the rod. But there's a screw that holds it in place because these mounts are adjustable so you can determine how far away from the window you want your curtains to be, but you can also just remove the screw and the two pieces, bleh, two pieces come apart and now you can just use this piece and mount it to the wall very easily and then screw it back together as one piece. Now, what I was talking to you about earlier with my template and why I had the screw hole a little bit above the intersection is because of this. Do you see here how like, that's where the head of the screw goes in, but you also have to pull down a little. Um, it's like one of those weird things where it's like, you go in and then you pull down to lock it, basically. Um, so you want to account for that because if you measure 10 inches down from the ceiling and then you pull down to lock on it, it goes down a little bit. Uh, it's probably not noticeable, but I'm a perfectionist, so I marked it so, you probably can't see this because the camera's kind of weird, but so I marked it a little a bit above to account for the um, adjustment of it going down a little. So when that, when I did that, when I, um, when the mounting uh, hardware, sorry, lost for words here, um, went down a little to lock, it is actually right in the intersection of where the um, screw should go or where I measured. So that's that. Um, so you wanna keep these apart um, when you're mounting and then once you have drawn the template, you can, I will show you how we use it um, in a bit, but I also want to bring up the fact that you should probably, because we ran into this issue, you should definitely look into a stud finder. Um, there are definitely studs obviously around a window, but you wanna see how far out from the window it is. Because drilling into a stud is doable, but it's also a pain, and I just don't want you guys to have to be frustrated by this. So definitely look into a stud finder, and that actually helped me determine how far out from the window I wanted the curtain rod um, brackets to be screwed in. Um, and then the hardware that it comes with, just drywall anchors and the screw. So definitely use the drywall anchors. Like don't think that you can just use the screw. Um, otherwise your uh, curtain rod is gonna sag because they're heavy or they could be light, but it's just not secure enough. And it's so frustrating because you don't wanna bore out the drywall and have it sag and then you're just gonna have a bigger hole and you're gonna have to like patch it or get like bigger screws to anchor it and it's just a mess. So definitely um, use the drywall anchors that are included. Um, and then in the instructions, it says to screw or to use a drill bit to make your initial hole. Definitely do that too, um, because this screw, while you can just init, like just screw into the wall with it, it's so much easier if you have a pilot hole 
um, created for you. So definitely read the instructions on um, how big the drill bit is um, to get your initial pilot in. But yeah, so that's that. Let's show you now how easy it is to mount these brackets now that we have our template ready to go. Alright, so this is one of the windows that will get a curtain rod. So what you do is you take your template, flush it against the ceiling, you can move this a little, and flush it against the edge of the window, and mark exactly where you have the intersection or the screw hole that you created. So you mark that, and then you go to the other side and do the same, same thing, um, but with the other hole. So, yep, my hole is right there. You know exactly where it's going to be screwed in, or the screw is gonna go in. All right, so Aaron's teaching me how to do this, so it's a teaching moment. So, like the instruction said, use a quarter inch drill bit. <laughs> All right, so I already marked the holes from the template. Now oh, make sure your drill's going the right direction. Oh. Pull the trigger on, make sure it's going. It's going in. It's going in. You want to go in straight where the hole is. All right, what do I do? I press on it, pull the trigger, make sure that you are pointing straight at the wall. And then just go in? Yep. Slowly pile it. And you get a little bit more juice. Oh! Now you're all the way through. Now I'm all the way through. Yep. Pull. No, 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 no. Oh. You can reverse. Keep, you can reverse it out. All right. We got our pilot hole. Now, so, why do we do pilot holes? To make. Not, well, this is for your anchor. Oh, this is for my anchor. So remember, I showed you guys earlier the drywall anchor that I said that you really, really need to use because otherwise your curtains will sag and you put a screwdriver. Right, let's switch off. Okay. So this is while you do that. Sure, it's straight. 
There's the drill. There's the drill. Remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. You're good to go. Okay, it's going right. Put pressure on it. Put pressure. And then go in gently on it. Alright. We're in! Snug. Oops, sort of snug. There we go. Let me try a little more. Make sure. There we go. Yay! And that's that. And now we're just gonna do all of them. <laughs> so the brackets are on and now we have to put the things to hold them that I was telling you guys about. Um might be helpful to grab a screwdriver. So now that the mounting brackets are on, we can actually put the actual mounting thing that holds the bracket. Okay, so... Because you have the template, all of this is the same height. Oh, it looks so good, I'm so happy.